I think that starts with the deregulatory policy and in relation to a lot of these labor and environmental rules that are in place that prevent American businesses from doing their work here in the United States. I think we need a strong diversification when it comes to bilateral trade agreements with other countries. And I think that once we get China's attention, also through reducing the corporate rate and also giving pass-through entities more of an incentive to do business here in America, the tax and regulatory and labor differences will force China to come to the table and say, okay, we're going to have to stop stealing their intellectual property. We're going to have to start acting in good faith when it comes to free trade. Trump had this goal of zero tariffs at the end. Club for Growth shared that same goal. But what Trump did was he laid tariffs on the table as a hammer to basically try to penalize the Chinese businesses. And that pass is ultimately passed along to the U.S. consumer. I think that we need to find a way to decrease costs here in America. And those incentives are laid out very much through our tax and regulatory structures.